Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies, the very first episode part thing. So, this is a strategy game. As you can see, it is far different from the last games I've played, and a lot less stressful. This is going to be more of a, more of a just sit back and relax sort of summertime type thing the first few levels, that is, until it gets much more intense later on. And we're not even camping! So this is... So, also, welcome back to Three Nights in uh, uh, the Outside of My House. This is Koala Dude's house, obviously not my real house, because you can't do that in video games yet, importing your real house into them. Really? No. So this is what you do, you plant plants, and they kill zombies for you. It's cool! It's cool! This is... This is... From Bloom and Doom Seed Corporation. Sunflower gives you additional sun. So it is gonna get a little bit harder every time we go back to, back here. You see, now we have three rows to take a deal with. <clears throat> So, some people usually try to keep their sunflowers to the back, and I actually did for quite a while. With, for, for a long, long, long amount of time until I learned that sunflowers are basically your least priority, and the offensive plants are your most priority. So, why not put them at the back. And then I thought, wow, that dude's mother is really smart. <laughs> uh, so, so now I have devised this strategy to put all my good plants at the back and to put all my sunflower plants at the front. And, as it seems, it works really well. So I'm just gonna play the first three levels for you in this first episode. Part, 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 episode, episode, part, part, part. Also, we're nearly at our first goal for this channel, which is 10 subscribers. You know what happens then, and wow, that's gonna date this video. If not, then it's gonna be the actual date at the bottom of this video. In the description. I don't get why people say, ooh, that's gonna date this, or ooh, this is gonna date this, even though it clearly shows when it was made. And yeah, it does date it quite a bit, but still, on videos, it doesn't make as much sense as to why they say that about videos. I don't know, rant. Rant, rant, rant! So I am not excited for the for the first goal to be set. Of course, who would be excited about that? About that challenge. But anyway, now we got some new seedlings. And I have played through this game so so many times. I spent way more hours on it than I should have. Blows up! All zombies in an area. An area. So now we have three plants. And it doesn't look like our thing up here can hold that many plants. I, I don't know if you can see my cursor on the screen. It, it looks different in the game, so... I don't know if that's going to affect it in the how it records the cursor or not. For some reason the cursor is bigger in the game. Also, one thing that I one thing that I really like about this is that when you click out of the game, it pauses the game for you. So <clears throat> that's a good thing. A lot of this game is just waiting for stuff to arrive. 
Or at least some of it is. Just waiting to build up that sun energy. But while that's going on, you have all this going on on screen. Whoa! What's happening all that way over there, five miles away? It's a zombie. It's getting hit by peas. From a shooter of peas. Yay! Entertainment success! So these zombies, I believe, can take ten hits before they die. And these little pea shooters, that's actually what they are called, can throw one damage per pea. And I think that these cone heads can take 20 or 25 before they're killed. Just keep building the suns. It doesn't really matter at this point how much you build or where you build it. Just matters if you survive. In this game, we're not surviving the night. In this game, we're surviving in the broad daylight. And as we all know, it's not so scary if you see us in the daylight. Now let's try our new Boomby Doom. Boomer Doomer Boomer Boomer Doom. This is gonna be bad for Zombolies. Zombolies. Oh, and they're all gone! In a shocking turn of events, the zombies have been blued up. So anyway, that was part one of Plants vs. Zombies. I hope you all enjoyed it. Now we've got this walnut. It, it acts as a line of defense towards the zombies. And it and it takes quite a bit to... Uh, 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 words. You'll see it in the next video. Bye-bye!